So, question for you. What if you could get us in both classes? Should I sign up for both classes? And this is when it actually changed for me. My whole thought process is when they close the schools. When they send out that email and that voice, um, that mass um, notification to all the parents, that's when I realized that, okay, we're in a totally different realm now. Um, this is nothing to be playing with now. Um, and then that's when my activities changed. First week, um, you know, it was kind of like trying to figure this thing out. Like the, the schools were still kind of figuring out their battle rhythm. Um, and so the first week was, was like a wash for us because we, we didn't know how to um, maintain her schoolwork and things like that. And she gets on the computer. She does the Pledge of Allegiance with the school. She does the daily announcements with the school. And then throughout the day, she will reach out to her teachers. Um, she does her math, her social studies, English, and food nutrition and science in the morning. And then in the evening, she will do her um, her math. And she has a math. She gets online with her, her math. For PE, she will go out and skateboard, bike ride, um, or she and I will go on a bike ride or a hike for her PE. So one of the biggest challenge for me is to balance that and then have my, you know, have to, without dismissing my daughter, having to answer questions that she can't just ask the teacher right away. Uh, for instance, if there's a math problem, she can't just ask the teacher right away. She has to wait till her turn at two o'clock to get online. You know, when you're in the middle of something and you're over here now, you gotta turn around and just, that's her desk right there, right? At the beginning, it was pretty hard, but now since it's been a month, well, for me, yeah, it's been a month, um, it's been pretty easy to adapt to. Some things I have a hard time in, but then I just ask for help. Well, she's also on the swim team, the Douglas Dolphin swim, swim team. So the pool is closed. So they came up with an ingenious activity to do where they do dry land via what we're via Zoom. Lane three, Avenue, Douglas Dolphin. Lane four. One of the events I swim in is the 100 free, one of my favorite events. Now since COVID-19, we do dry land two times a week. Dry land is about endurance and also we work on core strength, balance, and cardio. I'm just trying to adjust to all of this happening. I'm really just kind of trying to go with the flow and not panic, you know? He got tested on a Friday. And I think by Tuesday, he got the results saying that he was tested positive. As young as we are and um, as active as we are, it was it was still an eye opener because, you know, I didn't expect it to. When they said mild symptoms, I figured, OK, you know, I'll, I'll be a little achy for a couple of days, a fever, whatever. I can deal with it. But like the headaches were sometimes unbearable and, the you know, the Tylenol wasn't working every day. Um, we were taking it, what, every four yeah. hours? And every there, four hours sometimes, as needed. Yeah, as needed. And there was times where my fever would go back up and the headaches would come and I'll take, you know, two Tylenol and it's like, it's having zero effect. It literally made me feel like it, there was a potential in that blank moment when he was down and out, I could have actually lost my brother. And that same week is when I found out that my uh, aunt passed away. So it literally like, it hit me from two angles. I, I didn't know, it's like, I was fearful of what the next day would bring, especially when we started to have, um, ch when she started to have chest pains. Her chest pains lasted for like two days. And I was really scared because I'm like, okay, what's gonna happen tomorrow? It's hard because, you know, you you there's so many unknowns, and we we know people that's gotten sick. We know people, you know, someone that has passed away, and it's 
it's very it's a scary moment because now you're sick now so you're it's sick like, what's so gonna it's happen like what's to gonna me? happen right? what's gonna happen to me and as as you're getting worse day by day Being able to be with her one on one, and and learning each other, you know, it yeah, you're right. It's it's quality time. And I like spending time with my dad. Well, I thought my dad was kind of just this person that just sits on his computer and on the phone all day. But then I really saw how cool he was. And I kind of am curious about what he does. So I come in here sometimes and when he's working and I ask what he's doing because some of the things he does is really cool. Now that I see like people out in the world, they're actually taking time and they're, they're wanting to take care of other people. And I really look up to that because when I'm older, I want to be like something in the medical field. I want to help people out. And now that I see it, I appreciate them way more. Like, they risk their lives just to save other people.